Hey everyone, down here with Paleo Tracks. What I'm uh, doing right now is I'm taking this piece of uh, yucca. This is narrow leaf yucca, and I'm going to turn it into uh, a piece of cordage, just like this, a piece of rope. Um, and essentially, this is a, a piece of cordage I can use for a variety of things when uh, living in a primitive living situation or in a survival situation. I can make uh, different diameters for uh, fishing, something that's a little bit thinner like this, or something that's a little bit uh, thicker that maybe I would use for uh, a snare trap. But uh, having the know-how, being able to identify the narrow leaf allows me to take a natural resource and turn it into a survival or primitive living resource and ultimately get the job done. So what I'm doing is um, I'm pounding this narrow leaf yucca down uh, to get it to a flat shape and essentially break up all the green components of it, the, the little cells, the structures, and I'm trying to expose the fibers on the inside. And what I'm using to do that is essentially a round stone, no sharp edges, because sharp edges will, will cut uh, these fibers and I don't want them cut. And then I'm using a uh, round flat stone that I'm pounding on. This is the go-between. And I'm laying the leaf down and I'm just tapping it. I'm not smashing it, too much force will cut those fibers, and I'm just gently tapping it. And what I'm doing is I'm just opening up. So when I look at this leaf and I compare it to this leaf, you can see how much it's, it's grown and expanded in size. What am I looking to do? Expose those fibers. See all those fibers on the inside? That's what I'm going to use to make my cordage. And look at that. Tons of opportunities. So let's take a couple pieces and let's do a reverse wrap. How I do that is I essentially grab in the middle and I pull equally on both ends and I just start separating into the size clumps that I want. I put them down right in front of me. All right, so from that one plant, I got these guys right here. Now you can go one step further. You can bring these down to a stream, wash these guys out, get all those little pieces off, or you just take your fingers, kind of run through. And get all those little waxy pieces off any of the you know second grade science chlorophyll I think it is get all that stuff off and you come down to these individual fibers you can uh, separate them a little bit farther you don't want to go too thin but you can go as uh, you know as far as you want as far as the desired use if you're looking to make fishing line well clearly thinner is gonna be better but still you need it strong if you're looking to make snare wire or excuse me uh, some sort of cordage for a snare, then uh, you keep it a little bit thicker. So these are all the individual fibers. Let's take a couple of them. Let's turn them into some cordage. So I'm going to take these fibers right here, and essentially all I'm going to do is I'm going to find a midpoint and kind of stagger it. I don't want it even. I want one side longer. So when I connect another piece, it stays pretty solid where it is. Yeah, let's even those out. So I got this. There's one end. There's the other end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to twist one forward, one backwards, and it's going to bite onto itself. Keep twisting, and there it goes. It's crossed itself. Now, as soon as it crosses itself, I pinch it with my left hand, I come back with my right, and I rotate forward, and I grab underneath, and I twist. And now what was on the bottom is now on the top. I grab this, I twist, grab, rotate. And while that's going on, I'm moving my left hand up the overall cordage piece. And I do that process. Rotate, twist forward, reach underneath, replace and flip. Move my left hand forward. Again. Twist, grab, pinch move forward. And I continue and continue and continue. Now what you'll see is these two fiber ends start to make a piece of wrapped cordage. All right, and I'm gonna continue this process until I have to add more, so stay with me. All right, so I'm at a point right now where I wanna add some more cordage. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my uh, bundles, this one right here, 
and I'm going to identify that this is definitely a thinner side. And I'm going to take that thicker side and I'm just going to add it right in there, pinch where I was pinching, and just join it into the overall rotation process. And what you'll see on one end is what I call a pigtail sticking out. Now, there's a lot of ways to join cordage, but this is probably the simplest and the easiest. All I do is I come over where that pigtail is, and I'll get it with my teeth, or I'll cut it with the blade, whatever the case may be, but I'm just going to remove it. You can wait to the very end to do it, or you can do it as you're going. And all I've done is now I've just lengthened one side and I'm going to get to a certain point where I'm going to have to add it on the other side. And we're almost there. Let's add these guys. Right there. Pigtail sticking out. Rotate and squeeze. Twist. Place. Twist, replace, twist, replace, twist, replace, twist, replace. I'm rotating forward. Rotate forward, twist. Rotate forward, twist. Whatever ditty you have to say and put in your head to get it going, go ahead and do that. So there's my cordage. There's the pigtail that I inserted. There's a little remnants of the other pigtail. But you can see that my cordage is relatively, for the most part, universal in uh, the diameter. And I can, you know, keep this going for quite some time until I get a length of cordage uh, for basically intended use. Whether it's making snare traps or creating some sort of fishing line or lashing something together or doing some primitive sewing. Uh, really, it's up to you at that point. But again, narrow leaf cordage, reverse wrap, create the dimensions that you need. Have two good stones, one for a platform uh, stone, one for a hammer stone. Don't kill it. Don't cut it. Separate it into uh, individual fibers. And then start that reverse wrap uh, process. Well, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope to see you around uh, and uh, enjoy.